He actually sent me his selfie. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from today's title, it is a little bit sensitive and it's a very controversial topic. So if you are under the age of 18, I suggest you to not watch it. But if you insist on watching it, nobody's stopping you anyway. But I hope you learn a thing or two at the end of the video and probably get some great advice from my video or something like that. But yeah, before I begin, you already know the drill. Please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and also turn on the notification bell if you want to get notified when I post my next video. So let's get right into it, shall we? Alright, before I begin, I'm just gonna mention a few things, which is I'm not gonna mention anyone's name in this whole story other than my own name because, you know, they have families and they have children, they have friends, and I live in a small town. So if I just give you some hints or some tips about that someone, people are gonna know who I'm talking about because I live in a very, very small town. And also, this whole thing is real, my own real experience. I will never add any juicy details into it because this might heard that someone and if he's watching it i'm not sure if he's gonna watch it but i hope uh, that people learn from my video and this video is slightly long so just bear with me till the end so this story started at november 2020 and why did it happen how did it happen so if you have watched my previous videos or if you have followed me on my other social medias you probably know that i always sell things online on my social medias facebook instagram i always sell stuff just to get that side income so one day while i was selling stuff on my Facebook. One of my customer, okay, this is a new customer. I've never sell anything to this guy before. It was his first time buying stuff from me. So I sold it to him and he messaged me on Facebook and asked for my phone number. Okay, so at first I was like, okay, why do you need my phone number? But then he told me he needs my phone number so that he can send me his location so that I can deliver it to him, to his place. He's gonna send me his location through WhatsApp. All right, so it's actually very normal for customers to get my phone number and send their location to me so I was like yeah sure so he gave me his phone number instead and I texted him through whatsapp and the first message that I sent to him is hello da -da 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 -da. this is how much you have to pay you can bank into this bank account and all that or else you can also self pick up at my place and this is one mistake that I have made throughout this whole experience one of my biggest mistake is that I shared my location to him and this is my house address I was so scared for my life for that past few weeks because I just couldn't couldn't get him out of my mind. I was so scared. I keep looking at my back because I basically shared him my location. So the next thing that he replied me is, Do you know this guy? So this guy is actually one of our mutual friends on Facebook. He told me he know this guy and he started a conversation. So I was like, yeah, I know this guy. And then after that, he actually asked me, What is your occupation and where are you from? Okay, at this point, I wasn't getting all my guards up or anything because it is very common also for my customers to have a conversation with me and I would basically reply them as a friend and that's how I will build my friendship with my customers so that they will trust me when they purchase my item so I thought okay he just want to you know start just a mini conversation and all that so I told him yeah I am an air stewardess and I'm from Kota Kinabalu so he told me that he owned this shop in this location and he told me that if I'm free I can go and find him so still at this point I thought okay maybe he's over friendly or anything i don't really know this guy once again friendly customers and all that very common and then a very weird thing happened which is he actually asked me if i have a boyfriend and the way he texted me was your boyfriend okay i can show you some of the text messages here and i will also show you the voiceovers because we did have a few voiceovers and i was like okay why are you asking me that i was getting a little bit fishy i probably sense something is coming but i still don't want to overthink and then the next thing he replied was so i replied him this I was just trying to, you know, reply in a very nice way. Okay, so to continue the story, I'm just gonna shorten what we said in between. So he basically told me his car broke down and then he wanted delivery. So at first he wanted delivery and then he changed to I will pick it up at your location and then at the end he wanted delivery from me. So I told him this. Is 
The next thing that he replied me was he will add another 20 ringgit so that I can deliver the item that he purchased by myself. Because I told him right, the rider was gonna send the item to him and then he told me he will add another 20 ringgit just so I can deliver it to him personally by myself. Are you freaking kidding me sir? First of all, do you think I will do that just for 20 ringgit? Do you think I'm that free and I will do anything for 20 ringgit? Are you freaking crazy? And why? Why do you want me to send it personally to you? Like that's so freaking weird, okay? At that time, I already know that something is really really coming and I'm like putting my guards up but why am I continuing? this conversation is because first of all he hasn't paid his item and he ordered it and it cannot be cancelled because it's actually a fruit and it will get bad in just one or two days time so I have to deliver it to him as soon as possible before it gets bad and also he didn't pay me because he wanted to pay cash on delivery okay and that is the reason why I keep on replying to him because I really have to earn that money I'm not that rich and I'm just trying to do my job so I told him I am under the age of 20, I'm very young, I'm just trying to tell him I'm still a minor so basically you don't have to think of anything else because I'm still a minor. I know 20 years old probably is not a minor lah, but for me 20 years old is a minor lah for you this kind of guy, okay? So after several texts of talking about the items that he purchased, he suddenly asked me if I'm looking for a new job. So basically he asked me if I need a new job as his shop is hiring and I told him no, currently I already have three jobs uh, and then the freaking the very 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 weird next thing that makes me so uncomfortable is he actually sent me his selfie okay i'm not gonna show you his selfie like what no he sent it to me and he said hope to meet you for drink okay also <sighs> I'm not trying to be bad, but he is not that handsome. Also, the only guy that I will fall for right now is Jackson Wang. So I don't know like what's the reason behind for sending me his selfie. And then this is where everything went sideways. He started sharing me his story. His very sad life story, if you know what I'm talking about. So this is how it goes. I'm just gonna read through the text lah, okay? Every word's exactly in his own grammar. So I'm just gonna, you know, read through it. My wife separated, okay? A few years back and went back to this country and all the kids also went back. Or, you know, in other countries. So he is basically alone in the town that we live in together. I'm not sure if he and his wife is officially divorced or separated like long distance relationship. But I feel like you didn't mention divorce and you said just separated. You know, that can be a lot of types of separation. So I'm not sure what are you talking about. And that is so freaking weird, okay? If you're not divorced and you're trying to find like this kind of stuff, please laugh. He told me his story and he told me that looking for girlfriend very lonely okay right now he's very lonely because you know his children and wife not with him and you got any introduce he told me that he's looking for a girlfriend and he will give the girlfriend two to three thousand ringgit okay ringgit and uh, not us dollar uh, okay ringgit uh, and this is where i was so freaking mad the audacity to think that someone will do shit for two to three k also you think you will pay woman two to three k to do some shit for you oh so 2 to 3 get are you freaking serious ah? you know the sugar baby rate right now ah? okay i know malaysia rate is low lah but this is too low already lah okay for one month are you freaking kidding me i almost flipped because i actually told my parents about it i told my mom about it and then my mom basically laughed at me and told me oh my god you actually only worth like 2 to 3k a month savage mom but at the same time like i don't know why he was thinking like he thought i would do something like that for only two to three thousand ringgit i mean even if you give me like ten thousand or hundred thousand ringgit uh, i probably also wouldn't do that unless you look like jackson wang lah okay i will do that for free obviously but what the hell at the same time i can even earn more than that okay and not date anyone also you think my other friends are uh, not my other friends are uh, okay representing all the ladies who will actually do that for just 
only two to three thousand ringgit. Are you freaking kidding me? Ah? Okay, they will throw the cash back right into your face, lah. Okay, two to three thousand ringgit. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, I'm just gonna come a little bit down. So I don't know what to reply to him. It took me a few minutes, but I replied him with. Okay, I help you ask ya if I have friend. If you don't understand what I replied him, I actually told him I will try to help you ask anyone around me if they want to do that shit. But I didn't ask anyone because no one will do that shit. Okay. Also for that amount of money, also I don't have friends who do that kind of shit. So don't go around to my friends and say, oh, are you pinky friend? How much do you charge? Don't. Okay. My friends don't do that lah. I was just trying to still be friendly at this point, still trying to calm down because first of all, I. I don't want to ruin my reputation, as in you know I don't want to scold him and then later he go and screenshot and all that. I don't want to do that lah. I just want to be positive. And then what he replied me was, How about you if you kid? You think I don't have money? I sell the fruit fruit ah. Also can earn two to three. Can not even a month. You know why I need your fruit fruit? Huh? Why I need your banana? Are you freaking kidding me? So I replied him, Oh no, I'm a Christian, amen, ha ha ha. Okay, that's why I replied him. I am so smart. That was a smart move right there. And then he replied, Just friend can? Question mark. Make up for makan and shopping. In my translation, what I think he was talking about is if we can just be friends, he will bring me for makan and shopping. One question for you all, you guys can comment down below. Do you bring your friend to makan, pay for their shopping? And pay for their meals. Do you do that to your friend? And then the next stupid thing he asked me was, "Show me picture first. I want got class and standard." He wanted picture because, like I said, I will help him find this sugar baby that he wants. And then, this is why I was so scared for my life. He sent me a picture of myself. Okay, this picture I will show you right here. This picture was from a pageant that I joined, I think, a few years back. And this picture was on my Facebook profile. So basically, he went to my Facebook profile and he saved that picture into his phone and he sent it to me. Why do you think that is okay and that is fine for you to save someone's picture and send it to them and tell them you want someone like that? Are you freaking kidding me? I decided to not reply him just in case if I reply him, he will somehow feel that I am giving him hope or chances or good feelings from me to him so I didn't reply him and then the next day came my writer sent or delivered the items to his place and then he took a picture of the item to tell me that it is safely delivered to him and he told me thank you so much best service will promote in my group's chat and I just sent him a sticker you know those like whatsapp sticker like thank you or you know all that because I really don't have the energy to reply him in words so I just sent him a sticker and then then he continued to send me my pictures, you know, those that he saved on Facebook. He still tried to start a conversation and just text me every day in the morning, in the afternoon, at night. And then eventually I blocked him. I think after three days or something, I just uh, blocked him. He uh, tried to approach me on Facebook. I blocked him again and I blocked him on all of my social media. That's why I decided to make this video. I hope he never watched this. But if he does, I hope that it is so, you know, disrespectful of him to do all that to me. I mean, I'm not sure if it's disrespectful for other girls, but at the same time i'm not trying to judge if you are in this line if you are a sugar baby i'm not trying to judge you i know there are a lot of hard times in life you know everyone's different probably you need some money for your tuition your college your unis your education family or anything you know i respect you if you want to do that at the same time if you want to find uh, someone like this, if you're a sugar daddy or you plan to find a sugar baby, if you're watching my video, okay, you can go to the websites instead of going to any girls that you saw and that you have interest in and ask them directly because that is very disrespectful. This topic is very controversial. I don't want to get right into it. Also, I have a lot of other experiences similar to jobs offering, offer me 200, 300, 400 ringgit for a night out with some bosses some rich bosses okay you don't have to do anything uh, you just have to drink or talk this is a very dangerous thing even though if you know that person who offer you this kind of jobs even though you guys are friends you know maybe close friends not very close but you hang out for a few times okay you can never believe anyone you probably feel like oh he can be trusted a lot of friends know him they always say that he is good he offers me this job probably he just want me to earn some income some fast quick money there is 
nothing as fast or easy or quick money okay everyone work their ass off for money probably he tells you oh you don't have to drink like you don't know how to drink you just sit there with a few bosses or you can just stand there like just be in the event like. you don't really have to do anything do not believe that shit I really get a lot of offers like this just for like a one night out just a few hours, two hours things so you don't know what they will do to you or if they will drug your drinks and all that this is another topic that probably I will say it in the future so yeah that is my own experiences once again if you are a sugar baby I'm not trying to judge but in return I feel full respect for you guys keep doing what you feel like you want to do but my advice to the young one is Consider, consider, consider properly many many times before you do something like this or take a job offer or take such offer just so that you can get money so yeah that's all for today's video i guess and if you have any more things that you want me to talk about any topics any uh you know juicy stuff just comment down below so i will know so yeah don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up and also turn on the notification bell i will see you on my next video remember to stay safe okay take care the world is super super dangerous and also be kind to one another I will see you on my next video. Bye.